and like when I first met him, like I wanted to like not like him because I'm a little little insecure bitch. Because we're know? all thirteen. I'm, I'm not. Still. I'm not as. I'm not as good as you are. <laughs> You're pretty, and I'm ugly, and you win, and I'm and I don't. And, but he was such. Let a Let me good guess. Guy. He was charming too. Oh fuck! And he, he won you over. You had to, you had to <laughs> like him. You could not not like him. I wanted to ask him why he didn't go to college, but I knew you know he was dyslexic. But they didn't know that forever because he was. Yeah, that was. We were just, years it, away from understanding dyslexia yeah, at that, that point. Was, yeah, that was the fucking age, you know. <laughs> yeah. we, Nobody we, gave a shit we, about we, dumbasses who we, can't we read. Can't, <laughs> we can't diagnose something yeah. so complicated. You just can't read it. We <laughs> just can't complicate it. So you're just a dumb motherfucker, yeah. you know? It's like. It's, I had friends like that, you know? <laughs> they were all badass athletes because they had to be. I'd, I'd met Lane Frost the year before, like in high Where school. Where was he from? He was, uh, he was from Utah, but he moved to Oklahoma in high school. And so we got to be kind of friends. We went to a few rodeos in 84 and starting in 85. Was he, he and I at started, your level or? What's that? Was he his, like, when you met him, were you like, oh, you want the same shit I want? Oh yeah. But he was already there. Oh, he was. Oh yeah. He was already about us. He, he could, yeah, he, he won, uh, you know, First time I met him, we were in Washington State in Yakima, Washington, and I think we were we were both junior high school. We both made the championship round. I got slammed, hung up, black eye, whatever, and he. I think he he ended up in the top five or something, and then the next year I, I saw him again, but he was just so. Much more mature as a as a rider and 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 a person for for that matter, you know he could. And ride. the guys that are winning those events are 25, 24? No, this is when we're in high school. So it's a high school event. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, high school finals. And so when I got, he ended up winning the national high school championship, like of the whole country, and I ended up winning second. And like when I first met him, like I wanted to like not like him because of course. he was everything that I wanted. You know, he's a pretty boy and he's a talented, you know, he, he, he could ride better than I, I, could talk I could. better than you, you could get and chicks he was, better. And he was cooler than me <laughs> and, and he was everything that I wanted to be, but I wasn't. And you so, son of a bitch. No, yeah, you're better. So initially I'm like, I don't like you because I'm a little, Little insecure bitch. Because we're know? all thirteen. I'm not. Still. I'm not as. I'm not as good as you are. <laughs> You're pretty, and I'm ugly, and you win, and I'm and I don't. And, but he was such. Let a me good guess. Guy. He was charming too. Oh fuck! And he, he won you over. You had to, you had to <laughs> like him. You could not not like him. And so I, we got to be buddies. And then you know the following year, I went to college, and he and he took off and started riding professionally. Well, he ended up. They take fifteen. The top fifteen. Uh, in points and which is money won to the national finals and the year I went to college and he went started writing professionally he was 16th so he didn't make it so the following year 84 saw him a few more you know I'd run into him and then we got to be friends we went to a few rodeos and then the following year in 1985 while I was still in college but uh, you had already made start, the finals we, we, we started traveling together we both made the finals the same year in 84. 84, yeah. Because you went to college. Mm -hmm. Was that a plan B or was that just because you had the opportunity to? Because I had the opportunity to and I didn't have the, you know, I I couldn't have just took off writing professionally because. You didn't think you were that good? Well, probably, yeah. Not good yet. I, I didn't think I was that good. You're right. But I also didn't have the resources to, to go. So did he? Not really, but. But he was already winning more than I was. Did you ever ask him, like, hey, man, what what gave you the confidence just to fucking go? No, I would never. Well, I I wanted to ask him why he didn't go to college, but I knew because. Because he, he didn't have to. Well, he, did, he didn't want to, and he he never liked school, but. Right. You know, he was dyslexic. Right. So he always struggled in school. He hated school. But they didn't know that forever. Cause he was, yeah, that was, we were just, years he, away from understanding dyslexia yeah, at that, that point. Was, yeah, that was the fucking age, you know. We, <laughs> Nobody we, gave a shit we, about we, dumbasses who we, can't we read. Can't, we can't diagnose something <laughs> yeah, so complicated. You just can't read it. We just can't complicate it. So you're just a dumb motherfucker, <laughs> yeah. you know. It's like.
friends. I had friends like that. You know, <laughs> they were all badass athletes because they had to be. Yeah, well, we hit sign autographs, and he couldn't spell Bob if you spot him to be in the O. And so he had always bought him to be in the O. He can't spell Bob. He would scribble his name and he scribbled it all because he, he just couldn't. And it's because, yeah, he he charmed his way through school. And the last thing he wanted to do was go to school. Was he a good looking motherfucker? Well, no, as, no, he wasn't good looking. He was pretty. He was, fuck, he was a pretty boy. Yeah. Oh, and he was everybody like loved Saxton. him. Yeah, just pretty. Like walk in pretty. I'm like, I used to always say, yeah, you're not. You're not that cool and you're not that pretty, but <laughs> I know I was lying because everybody thought he was. That. <laughs> and so we were pretty opposite, but we got to be best friends. And did y'all travel together? Yeah. That, that Room we, together? We started doing everything together, like starting in, in 85. We did, we went everywhere together, did everything together, traveled together. Yeah. From eighty five until eighty nine, when when he when he passed away in Cheyenne, you know we were we were pretty much we did everything together. We all we all's dreams kind of tied all. together. Yeah, you know he, uh, you know I I actually I used to give him shit because I'd never beaten him. He beat me in high school. He beat you know here there even like the first time we made the NFR. I go into the NFR in fourth place in in overall fourth in the world. And I ride like seven out of ten, which is pretty good for a first time. And you know, he rode like five, but but he won more money, he ended up beating me in the standings for the year. And I, I didn't even realize it till like about a month later. And I saw him, I said, Motherfucker, no matter what, I don't care if I win last this year or next to last this year, but as long as you win last, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> you win last. I'm, I'm gonna beat you. You know, I I can win next to last as long as you win last. Because I'm gonna beat you because I'd never beaten him ever. It was it was a friendly rivalry. So what happened the next year? Uh, then did you beat him? I I beat him, and then the following well the the following year I would go in and I've got the biggest lead. I've got a huge lead. And I lose the last day to Ted News. He's a guy from California. And but I still beat him. But it was still the biggest choke job, maybe. In. You still won. Well, I, I beat him. I didn't. I ended up second for the year. Oh, you lost to Ted. Yeah. But you beat Lang. I beat Lang, but I would rather small have. victories. Yes, very small. <laughs> <laughs>